there is a reason why snakes shed for growth. Snakes, unlike other mammals, have scales that do not grow with their bodies. As snakes grow, that skin becomes stretched and can no longer accommodate the growth. To facilitate growth, snakes have to shed their skin. When snakes shed their skin, there is a process of rejuvenation. Over time, uh, snakes, they get parasites, they get scars, they get scratches, debris. But by shedding their skin, they remove the unwanted elements. The shedding or molting of their skin enhances their appearance and health. And their new skin becomes a more functional <clears throat> way of protection. By shedding their skin, they get rid of old wounds and have entered into a process of healing. The damage, the hurt, trauma that they've experienced gets shed away. When snakes shed, it helps them to adapt to the environment. Various temperatures, humidity, hours, um, seasons. I think I already talked about the shedding of parasites and things that can cause death. Oh. And <clears throat> when snakes shed, it gives them new camouflage. When we grow in Christ, when we put on the armor of God, we are protected. Camouflage to snakes are important because it keeps them protected from other predators. When we put on the word of God in Ephesians 6, is it 6 or 5? Oh well. We put on the breastplate of righteousness, the spirit of truth, the sword of the spirit, the gospel shoes, the helmet of salvation, all those things. If you look at them individually, what is righteousness? It's Jesus. What's truth? It's Jesus. Salvation, Jesus. The gospel, Jesus. When you look at the full armor of God, it is the person of Jesus. So when you put on Christ, you are a new creation. You are walking in Him. You are unified with Him. Your identity is in Him. And then you start walking in the power and the authority of Him. So many times in my life when I've thought about having to put on the armor of God, it felt overwhelming because when I, when I think of medieval times and I think of a Roman soldier or a knight, they are bogged down by armor. Even David couldn't wear the armor of Saul because he was bogged down by it. 
But what J David did is he trusted in the Lord God to deliver him. So he didn't have physical armor, but he had spiritual armor. 